Good morning and happy Saturday to everybody. First off, let me apologize for not doing a Vita video yesterday. Mm. Uh, things just got really crazy with me. Uh, Doug has a doctor's appointment, so I had to take him to that in the afternoon. Most of my morning was actually spent working on something special for my job. Yesterday, Five Stones Media had what we called a creative day. Um, this is the first time we've done it and I'm kind of upset that I wasn't there because it would have been something that I would have really liked to be in the office to do. I'll be back in the office next week. So, but essentially what creative day is, is that everybody worked on a specific thing that they've been wanting to work on, but working on clients wouldn't allow you to have the time to do this sort of thing. So what I picked was I was going to go through Google's Analytics Academy because part of my job as web administrator is that I do, I help with SEO, which is search engine optimization. And as much as I always kind of set up Google Analytics accounts, I'm not really sure what everything does in Google Analytics. And so to make myself better and to make our business better, I express an interest in doing so. Now going through the first section, which is what I'm working on right now, takes about four to six hours, probably longer because I'm always stopping and taking notes. Oh yeah, one note on this page, yeah. I was stopping and taking notes because that's the best way I learn. I spent most of yesterday getting through the first five sections in Google Analytics Academy. Ultimately, what I'd like to do is be able to take the Google, Google Analytics IQ test, which will get me a little special certification saying that, you know, I, I know analytics and I can work it properly or something. Uh, yesterday evening, I had a sleep study done, <laughs> which is no fun at all. Not at all. Essentially what a sleep study is, is they're testing you to see how well you sleep, what problems you have when you sleep. I already know I suffer from sleep apnea, which is, again, no fun at all. I snore so bad that the last sleep study I had done, which was in 2009, they told me that I stopped breathing 65 times in one hour. Last night I spent the evening getting hooked up to a bunch of wires and things and being wired into my bed and having leads all over my chest and my legs and in my hair and it was ugh. And then I got home about 5 a.m. today. We. So today I'm going to kind of relax. Doug and I might go see a movie. We're tossing around the idea of going to see Fantastic Four or Mission Impossible. Probably Fantastic Four. <laughs> Since you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe and all that. Um, so let's get on to today's topic. Uh, actually, I'm going to do yesterday's topic and today's topic. So I'll have both of my videos done for today. Yesterday's topic was iPhone or Android. And I'm filming this on my iPhone, so there you go. <laughs> I've had both, I've used both, I've liked both for different reasons. The last Android I used was the Droid 2, and that was oof, over four years ago, five years ago maybe, I don't remember. Um, I liked the little keyboard at the time, but I got kind of tired of it and switched to an iPhone 5S and have not looked back once. <laughs> I really do love my iPhone. I have an iPhone 6 Plus and depending on what they come out with this year, when my contract is up with Verizon, I might get the next one. Uh, I love having new tech. So, I mean, I got this last year, my iPad mini, and I'm already looking, thinking of, since I'm, I'm up to date on my Edge plan, I think I might go get a new one. Maybe not though. I'm kind of tossing around the idea of just paying this one off. So that's my answer for yesterday's question. Definitely iPhone. Today's question is Twitter or Facebook. Probably six months ago I would have said Facebook. I like Facebook for the fact that I can t stay in touch with my friends who are all across the country. I like Facebook for the fact that it keeps me connected with my family. But sometimes too much. 
saying I don't want you on my Facebook. <laughs> um, the problem that I'm having with Facebook now is that it's just nothing but political posts I see all day long. And yeah, I consider myself pretty active in politics. I do research who I'm going to vote for and I make my decisions according to what my beliefs are. No, I'm not getting into politics on this. Oh God, no. Let's just say I'm a moderate liberal and leave it at that. All right. But there's just a lot of negativity on Facebook and Bernard, the color mage, hi. Um, he mentioned that in his post about what's the first app he checked every day. He said he stays away from Facebook because it's very negative. I tend to go to Facebook first thing, but I'm really reconsidering that option. So for now, I've rediscovered Twitter. I hadn't been using Twitter for years. I was a really heavy user when I first adopted it, but it faded off once everybody who I was involved with on Twitter kind of left. So I've been rediscovering Twitter and I really enjoy meeting new people on Twitter and so on and so forth. So definitely Twitter. I would say between Facebook or Twitter, it's Twitter for me. So that's my topics for the day and sorry about the missing video yesterday. I'm going to try to make that the only one this month. So as usual, feel free to comment. Please subscribe if you like. And there's a bunch of links down there that you can follow me online, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter, and my blog too. So that's it for me today. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.